Sean Sewell with Ingamer.com on our beautiful mountains of Colorado. We're doing a little testing on some battery packs. In particular, the new Blue Eddy AC70. It's a 760 watt hour battery. I'm also going to compare it to the AC60 because they sound very similar and it's the same company. Some different features and functionality. So, a lot to cover. Let's get into it. First, we'll start with the testing parameters. We are at 10,500 feet in Colorado. We were doing some camping last night. There's our tent right there. My dog Chloe and myself. And it is currently 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It got down to, oh, I'd say three or four degrees Fahrenheit. So well below freezing. And I was really impressed that the battery was able to, well, I'm not charging, so I don't know if it'll charge at these temperatures, but it is putting power out in these single digit to double digit Fahrenheit temperatures. That's very encouraging for me because my application, what I'm using them for is to power electronics, say this camera right here, a drone, laptop, uh, battery packs for heated gloves, and very importantly, a refrigerator. A refrigerator, you may be asking yourself, why in the world would you have a fridge when it's below freezing out? Well, fun story for you. I learned from experience, and many, many times I've had canned beverages in a cooler that is not powered, or just in a bag, or just freely out in the back of my chaotic truck, and they explode and cause quite a mess, quite a sticky mess, quite a stinky mess as well. Sticky and stinky. So to keep these cans of beverages from exploding, I put them in a cooler, keep them at 38 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, also, importantly, food. It's nice to have food that's not frozen. I could easily put my food on top of my truck and have uh, make sure that it doesn't go bad, but then I go to eat my chili and it break the fork off or break my teeth trying to bite into something. So the ability to power a refrigerator for myself, my wife, other friends that join us, and my dog is very helpful. Having water that is not frozen is also very, very helpful. So that hopefully answers your question of why the heck is this guy running a fridge when it is frigid outside? More importantly, let's check out the AC70. All right, AC70 is a powerful little unit right here. It is on right now but I'll just turn on the screen, come on. So we have 82% battery life left after running it for about 16 hours since we've been here to power this, pretty impressive. On the front, you'll see two USB-C 100s, which is fantastic. Uh, the AC60 only has one. You have a different DC input. So instead of the eight millimeter, you have this newer, more secure connection right here. And I'm speaking of DC, if you have it properly set up in turbo mode, you can get 500 watts in and charge this guy in two hours. Speaking of crazy, if you have it in turbo mode, you can get AC power in on the side and charge this uh, at 950 watts really quickly with no brick. There's no brick needed. Just a simple three-pronged, looks like this, AC cord that comes with appliances. Uh, if you lose it, no big deal. You go to a hardware store, order online, about five bucks, get a three-pack, <laughs> just have backups. It's like the most useful cord they make. It's very, very helpful. No more brick. Uh, two AC, uh, or sorry, USB a 12 waters right here dc output for whatever dc devices you may have um, and two ac outs right there so pretty much everything that the ac60 had minus there's no wireless charging on top and the handle is now built in which is kind of nice uh, the ac60 also has two ports on the side for providing additional structure with more batteries uh, there's probably a way to daisy chain this up i don't know i've not used that um, there's a lot more videos out there that will go into more details on numbers you may care about, but I simply want to show you where I use it, the temperatures I'm using it, what I power with it, and how the features work. And very importantly, that plug is now different. It comes with a cable to go from this um, plug to the red and black for solar panels. Like I have the one right here. So you could plug this in. This is a 200 water. So at 200 watts, it would take me a couple, probably four hours to charge a battery up. But that's in a perfect world, 200 watts, I'd probably get 130, 140 watts out of that panel when I'm charging. Again, uh, price point, 4.99. So pretty cheap for this amount of power. Um, and hopefully seeing compared to the AC60 is helpful because, you know, reviewed this one, like it quite a bit. Difference is it's got a little light in the back, it's got the wireless charger on top and has eight millimeter plug instead of the newer plug right here. So I'm gonna have to go out and make a few adapter cables for our solar panels on our roof to come down to here, but easy breezy. So hopefully if you saw this and this was helpful, thumbs up is appreciated. Hopefully you've seen it in the real world in the mountains. Like how cool is this? 
little mountains. <laughs> yeah, we test stuff in the mountains, in the cold. It's been so cold, actually, that the cameras have turned off. All four cameras are brought with me. All Sony cameras have turned off as well as the microphone. So I'm going to wrap this up right now before the battery dies. Sean Sewell with InGearMint.com. Until next time, take care. Thank you.